Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. Today I want to show you a cool method to blend two cameras together in Unity's Universal Render Pipeline. This allows for some interesting transitions, and even transformation effects. Before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. I make weekly game development tutorials, so subscribe and turn on bell notifications if that sounds interesting. I also want to thank Leaf Enzo, my next-gen patron, for their support. Thank you. I made this project using Unity 2020.3.3 f1, but I also tested 2021.1.2 f1. If you're using a newer version than that, check out the video description for any fixes that you should know about. Our strategy is to create two cameras, but route one into a render texture. This stores the camera's output in the texture instead of showing it on the screen. Then, we can use a renderer feature to blend the captured texture with the screen using a post-processing shader. Get started by setting up the Universal Render Pipeline. Download the package, create a settings asset, and set it as your project's active rendering pipeline. Now, create a little test scene. A main camera should already be there, Double check that it has the main camera tag. Then create another camera game object called Blend Camera. Remove the audio listener component from it. And make sure that post processing is turned off. Now create a new mono behavior script called Render Texture Manager and open it. In the awake method, create a render texture object passing it the current screen width and height. The next argument is the texture's depth. You can usually safely set this to 8, but if you see certain effects don't render correctly, consider changing the value. Once that's done, call the create method to allocate memory for the texture. It will return true if this is successful. To route the camera into this texture, get the camera component from this game object and set its target texture field to the render texture. Return to Unity and add this script to the Blend camera. Now let's create the Renderer feature. We need one to run a post-processing shader over the screen, blending it with the render texture we just created. The Blit Material feature, written previously in my Introduction to Renderer Features video, is perfect for this task. I'll link to the video and the script in this video's description. Once you've got the Blit Material feature, open it. We need to make one small adjustment. Right now, this feature would render our effect on both cameras, which isn't needed. Let's add an option to only apply the material to the main camera. Add a boolean field to the settings class, then in add renderer passes, check if the main camera only setting is false, or that the current camera has the main camera tag, before adding a render pass. Return to Unity, and add this renderer feature to your forward renderer asset. Next up, we need to make the shader which executes the blending post-processing effect. It's really simple to do in the shader graph, so create a universal render pipeline, unlit shader graph, and open it. First, we need a texture 2D property for the main text, which is a texture set by the blit command in the renderer feature. This will hold the main camera's output. Next, create a blend text texture 2D property for the blend camera's render target. We're going to need to set that one from a script, so watch my interactive shader graph tutorial if you'd like more information on how to do that. I'll link to it in the video description. Be sure to set the reference fields in both properties or this won't work. Sample each texture with a sample texture 2D node. Then, blend them together with a Blend node, set to Overwrite mode. Now we need to calculate the opacity. We want the Blend texture to start at full opacity and lower over time. Create a Start Time and Period Float property. Remember to set the reference fields here. When that's done, subtract the Start Time from a Time node and divide that by the period. 
Route this into a saturate node to clamp between 0 and 1, and a 1 minus node so the opacity starts at 1, and finally into the opacity field of the blend node. Feed the blend output into the base color field of the master stack and save the asset. Back in the scene editor, create a new material and set it to use your new shader. In your renderer asset, set the blend material feature to use this new material. Also, set the pass index to 0, the event to after transparency, and the main camera only option to checked. OK, so let's fill in the shader's properties. Open the render texture manager script and add a material serialized field. Then add this line to set the blend text property to the render texture. For the start time and period, let's use another script. It will initiate a camera fade when you press spacebar. Create a new mono behavior called camera blend initializer. Inside, add two serialized fields for the blend period and the material. In start, set the blend period in the material, and so the effect doesn't fire off immediately in play mode, initialize the start time to some time long ago. In update, if the user presses the spacebar, set the start time to the current time. We're finally ready to test everything. Create a control game object and add the camera blend initializer to it. Fill in all of the fields, press play, and then press spacebar. And if everything's set up correctly, you should see the cameras blend. Before I leave you, I have a couple of tricks that you should know about when using this effect. First, make sure that post-processing is enabled only on the main camera. It will be applied twice to the blended image otherwise. Second, when the blend effect is inactive, you should think about disabling the blend camera. It will continue to render in the background otherwise, taking up precious resources. You could even disable the renderer feature as well. And with that, we're done. I've used this effect in many of my tutorial videos. It's great for smooth transitions and faking mesh transformations. I hope it's useful in your projects as well. How do you plan to use it? please let me know in the comments or post screenshots of your projects in the community discord. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this tutorial, please leave a like. It tells YouTube to recommend this video to others and it really helps the channel. If you'd like to see videos early, vote on tutorial topics, or download project files, consider joining my Patreon. Don't feel pressured though, I really appreciate you just watching this video. Thank you to all my patrons for your support. Thanks again for watching, and make games.